So let me tell you as a matcha expert, a person who drinks that thing for the last five or eight years, I don't know. If you want to satisfy your girlfriend, <laughs> Bring, bring her, her to her that place. Food. The last two weeks we spent in Chango and we recorded our dining experience. So, in this video we'll share our honest opinion about the places we visited. We went to some of the most famous places around and some local restaurants which are not that famous. And honestly you're gonna be surprised but sometimes the cheap local restaurants were offering better food on a better price. Now stay with us to find out which restaurants offers the best food in town. The first place we visited was the loft. The main dishes cost from 70,000 to 100,000 rupees, which is 5 6 euros. So, normal lunch for two people with drinks will cost you around 17 euros. Unfortunately, there is around 15% hidden fee for tax and service. We ordered one hummus bowl and halloumi bowl. Halloumi is a Greek cheese, it is very, very tasty in general. From 1 to 10? Very tasty, like 9, let's say 9. Just because of the price, I would put the mark down, but tasty. For, for me, I would say 6.5. It's really overpriced. For two bowls, uh, we paid 200. There is a little bit hidden fee. It's written on the menu. So you pay 5% service fee and you pay additional 10% tax on top. I don't know if it's standard in Bali because it's our first restaurant here. But, uh, but, but if you're here on vacation for one or two weeks and you don't want to search for anything, this is a tasty place. The second place we visited was the hidden snack. You could feel that this place is very very popular even before you enter. The parking lot was full. So our expectations were high. The atmosphere of the place was amazing, but it's definitely not the cheapest. A smoothie will cost you around 50,000, the breakfast is between 50 to 70,000 and the main dishes are around 80,000. The homemade drinks are tasty, but personally I prefer a real coconut. Time to rate the place from 1 to 10? No, 4, four out of 10. Yeah, what for me it's more like 5, 5.5. Five something was missing, something yeah. was missing, and it's too expensive for sure, for sure, for Bali. The food looks very Instagram y. If you, want to, if you want to come to make some photos of the food, that's your place. But it doesn't taste so much, and the portions are extremely small. Yeah. We paid in total 13 euros. The drinks were really cool. But the food wasn't. But you can't spoil coconut. <laughs> I just remember what I wanted to say more. <laughs> In Germany, I'm buying a falafel for around three and a half, four euros. Here is the same price. Unfortunately, the Munich falafel is more tasty. Mm. And I'm on Bali. It should be tastier here. Next, we visited a local place next to us. Ah, Ghani Kitchen. It's raining, so we'll do the review under the rain, from 1 to 10. 10. <laughs> 9.5, just a little bit. It was very cheap, very tasty. For one dish we paid 25,000, which is euro and a half. So for the two dishes we paid 3 euros, and the drink was around 2-3 euros as well. So in total for 5 euros we had a really decent lunch. Nothing in comparison to the first two places. So such local small restaurant is delivering much better food and it's more tasty than the big but, fancy ones. But it was a very clean and attractive local place, I have to say. We liked it very much, so we visited it second time. It's extra tasty. <laughs> mm, very nice garlic sauce, potatoes, pumpkin, carrots, everything, everything you need for dinner. On the next day we visited one more local place, not far away from Ganik's kitchen. It's called Melo. So, we ordered kombucha. I've tried it in Germany, but I didn't like it much. I 
think it, will, it feels something like very Russian drink, but let's try it now again. It's very good for your gut health. It's a very tasty one. It's a turmeric. I quite like it. It's like you're drinking cabbage with turmeric. No, that's not my drink. What is that? So we have kulumi rough and noodles. Better than on our place? It's different. They have very different taste. But I like both of them. A bit chilly, but just a little bit. Nice, tasty, classical rough. One to ten? not chilly. Yeah, seven. So the traditional food was much tastier, the burger wrap was around 6, 6 out of 10, it wasn't so tasty, but the noodles were really good. And if somebody didn't have an expensive weird taste, we wouldn't pay so much, in total we paid 158, which is uh, 9 euros. Bali Buddha, that's the menu, it's really cool, you can take it with you, really cool, let's check what to take there is pizza review time from 1 to 10 I would give 3 3.5 yeah. I guess I would give around 2 we were extremely hungry and we really wanted to eat something tasty the place is amazing the atmosphere is amazing the food is organic so everything is good but first of all, there were not a lot of vegetarian and vegan options. When we asked them for three or four dishes, they couldn't prepare the dish without eggs. Everything was with eggs coming from some factory. So from one side is organic, from other side is coming from a factory. I was a bit upset. We ordered curry and that's one of the worst curries that I ate. I'm cooking it better at home. And when I go to a restaurant, I don't want to eat food which tastes the same like homemade or even worse than homemade I want the food to be tastier yeah so let's finish on that I wouldn't come here second time but I really wanted something sweet but I take some sweet stuff only when I know that my main dish was tasty so now we're going to Pepito or how is it called we're going to, take to a some supermarket buns. Too. Так, репортаж вам о банс. One more fancy Instagrammy place with not tasty food. Hmm? Well, we're about to see. But it has a lot of avocado. That can't be bad. If they manage to fuck up a toast with avocados, that means like the place is really bad. Let's try it now. So let me tell you as a matcha expert, a person who drinks that thing for the last five or eight years, I don't know, it's really, really tasty. And this one is with avocado, but you can't feel it actually. Well, definitely if I need matcha, even though I have it in my fridge, I will come here to drink it. Uh, I must film it with a wide lens because I expected everything, but not that kind of portion so just take a look it's bigger than my arm I know it's a lot of salad but salad is healthy though isn't it so try it what do you say so I took summer bowl Gabby's Let's I think it was tofu bowl time to rate it there is nobody around us so we can do it here yeah. <laughs> from 1 to 10 is around 8 8.5 strong 8 really good 8 yeah I would say that it was around 20-25% cheaper, I would rate it around 9. Food is good, it looks Instagrammy, just a little bit simple taste and it's a little bit pricey for me. But if you're coming just for two weeks, what are 4 euros per meal? Yeah. The tofu bowl is everything, literally. Hey, that's my tofu! Why do you have so much grass? <laughs> It's too much effort to chew it, I don't have energy. So you're burning more calories while you're eating that bowl? Yeah. <laughs> Let's sneak without pain. 
Here is the field which can just run. And here should be the music. Run! Take and go, right? So 90% of the restaurants work only with a takeaway. That's why we decided to use today's secret spot. We decided to order two burgers, a different one, uh, vegan, vegan cakes. And at home we cut it our own coconut. Um, and now we're going to the pool to eat. Obviously that's... The ketchup is really tasty. It was written online that is homemade and I truly believe it. It's all around my face, right? Very tasty. Extremely tasty. From 1 to 10? 10. Ten. My time to try it. Let's start with the sauce. And the sauce is pretty nice, very gentle taste. I cannot recognize that it's vegan. If I wouldn't know, I would never guess that it's vegan. Let's try the ketchup. Two, three times better than the one in the shop. It's very nice, gentle taste. I like, I like it. You look like a food expert. Yes. The first thing I don't like, the size. It's a little bit small for me, but let's try it. So? It's tasty. I would give it 8.59. And believe me, that's a lot for him. <laughs> We finished the burgers. I can tell you one thing. Don't order the big fish. Go with the classic one. It's much tastier. Let's Time try. to try the sweets. So this is Snickers. A raw, a vegan, tasty as... Mmm. Oh, it's so tasty. Right. Uh, it was 40,000. 40,000? Oh, no, wait. 35 for Snickers. Marina, stop eating from mine. I see how no, you're taking the nuts this from one mine. Is mine. <laughs> Time for the carrot cake. Really? Oh. It's homemade. My god, so tasty. I like the sweets more than the main dishes. So, mm -hmm. in total, this place is 10 out of 10. Even with some small things I didn't like, but the combo of sweets and main dishes mwah. that is the best place till now mm -hmm. like in terms of the best food, taste. how tasty it is mm. Mm. in total we paid 230 and then the next day happened that we went on that spot again we took this time a uh, wrap ravioli and we have a dessert here it's a little bit broken but it's banana brownie and bounty the raviolis are really tasty I need to try. The sauce is really amazing. Just the sauce is so tasty. Come okay. on here. Burrito. It's a wrap. Mm. Good? Mm -hmm. Give me to try it. A lot of grilled vegetables. Really interesting taste. Mm. The place is definitely not disappointing. It's very tasty. So no matter what you take on the menu, it's really good. So after trying so many items, I would recommend you to go with the classical burger and with the ravioli. The burrito is very tasty, but uh, compared to the classical burger, it's, you cannot compare it. <laughs> Brownie vs carrot carrot. Brownie. Is better? Carrot cake was extremely sweet. For people who don't eat mostly anything with sugar and don't buy sugar, it was too sweet, but this one, Mmm, just like a chocolate dream. I like the carrot cake more. I like it. It's more sweet. The bounty is very tasty, but the Snickers is better. You have our honest review. Now don't forget to put like to the video, subscribe, and see you in the next one where we'll try something tasty. Hopefully mm -hmm. something tasty. If you want to satisfy your girlfriend, <laughs> bring, bring her, her to her that place. Food. Bring her some food. <laughs>